Hello, my name is Andrea and I am product owner within B2BI. In this video, I will bring the news gathered in the B2BI 2023 update released on 31 July. From this update, we provide an upper security level on the SFTP embedded server, giving the ability to the SFTP clients to connect using their username and a token instead of a password. The SFTP partner accounts are stored in an external IDP and not inside B2BI. A performance improvement is added on GMS protocol using the same established connection to send numerous messages to a GMS server like IBM MQ or ActiveMQ. The trading engine, MQ Connector, has extended the list of message attributes with the MQMD public uh, metadata attributes for incoming and outgoing connections. From this release, the status of a pickup application or trading can be set as enable or disable. Another improvement is made on the um, automatic usage reporting to Amplify platform that can be optionally sent through Secure Relay. We also added other improvements on security part, having an updated GRI version. But for more features and enhancements, please see the official uh, guides of, like admin guide, release notes, or other materials from um, Axway University. In the next video, I will present the new SFTP improvements and some GMS configuration details. I will start with the SFTP enhancement. Here I have an SFTP embedded server to which I want to connect with an external user that is stored in the IDP. The SFTP embedded server needs to, to be set to require for client authentication using a password, either a password or public key uh, pair. These two types of uh, client authentication can be used for uh, connecting with an uh, external user. Now, to download and upload files on this embedded server, I need a user. And my user is defined in Keyclock called user SFTP. This user, which is external and stored in the IDP, it is assigned on the no packaging partner delivery. As you can see, it is an external user and it has a PAT mail mailbox. Now what I need it is to upload uh, for uploading the files, it is to associate this user on the trading pickup level. And in directories, accounts owned by partners, add the partner. I have it on my list, user SFTP it is in, the, in this list because, because it is already um, assigned on a partner delivery. And what I need it is a path inbox. Let's say, save it. The user SFTP it is in my list of uh, accounts owned by partners. And as you can see, it is it is an external one. Save changes. Now, my user, which is in uh, Keyclock, it is associated on partner delivery and on trading pickup. That means I can upload and download files uh, to this, uh, this server. What I need, it is a token. And I will retrieve a token using the Postman. Here it is my token. I will copy it and use it in FileZilla as an SFTP client. The user is user SFTP. I've added instead of a password the token. This is my server and try to connect. Okay. The user it is already connected go on inbox and make an upload. 
the file is connecting, the file is transferring, it is in mailbox now, and I can download it. Okay. It was successfully download my file. What I've made, it was to use the same user, user SFTP, to upload and download the, um, the files on, um, on this um, SFTP embedded server. There is also API V2 uh, support for trading pickup and partner delivery configuration with external accounts. The GMS enhancement is about increasing the performance on sending messages through GMS protocol using the option um, to reuse the same established connection to the GMS server each time messages are sent. This op option it is available in partner delivery, no packaging or secure file, but it is also available in trading pickup um, port type. In advanced tab, I have reuse connection enabled and client idle timeout set on five minutes as default. That means the connection is closed in case there were no messages sent on GMS server in this interval. In terms of uh, performance improvement, our uh, scalability test shows an increase between 10 and 15 percent, but that improvement depend on operating system hardware components and um, how the par parameters like maximum concurrent connections or retries are set. For more about how to configure the GMS with the, this new option, please see the official documentation of B2BI. Thank you for watching.